Hello, my name is Chris Moore and I'm a Fire Behavior Analyst with the Alaska Interagency Management Team. And today I'm going to define three terms you commonly hear when uh, describing the behavior of a fire. And those three terms are isolated torching, group tree torching, and crowned fire. So what happens is that a lightning strike hits the ground, it starts the needles on fire, and then as the fire builds in intensity, if it has enough intensity and enough fuel, it can start torching out single trees. So the fire moves from the ground and it moves vertically into the canopy of the tree and it torches out a single tree at a time. If there's a lot of fuel that's really dry or the weather is hot and dry, uh, the next level of intensity is group tree torching. And instead of just single trees here and there, it starts torching um, groups of trees, five, 10, 15 trees, all at the same time and the fire moves from the ground vertically into the canopy of the trees and burns all those trees at the same time. And then the most extreme um, level of fire behavior is called crown fire and that's when the fire switches from just moving vertically from the ground into the treetops but it starts moving horizontally along the treetops and the ground at the same time. And when that happens it needs to be hot, dry, and windy, and there needs to be lots of dry fuel on the ground to support that kind of fire behavior.